for you. Barber Baskets from the Barber Baskets show. Today is January 29, 2014. I'm here on location at Hempstead High School where the National Action Network NAN chapter is hosting Reverend Al Salter's book signing, The Rejected Stone. I'll be bringing you more along this broadcast. So tune in to more on the Barbara Basket Show here live on location at Hempstead High School. give my viewers a little information about exactly what's happening here today at Hempstead High School. Well, we're going to have a program, a special program. We're going to have the Hempstead Chorale. We're going to have some remarks, and then we're going to have a keynote address by Reverend Al Sharpton, our president of NAN, and then he'll sign books. We're selling the books for $20, and membership in our chapter is $25. Tonight you get a $5 break. Oh, wow, that's a great discount. Book and membership, $40. Just getting information about Thank you, the correct I'm information. So, sorry. anyone yeah. that would like to send a donation to NAN, the Nassau County chapter Thank here in so Hempstead, much. Long Island, you will certainly have the correct information to send it to. It's P.O. Box 1811, North Baldwin, New York, 11510. Again, P.O. Box 1811, North Baldwin, 11510. And you can also go to our website, NassauNan.org. It's NassauNan.org, and you can download an application there, and you can pay by credit card, or you can mail it into this address. Well, once again, we certainly like to thank you for hosting this event, and it's very important that we have this huge organization. And as always, you know, Barbara Baskets has arrived inside with her beautiful limo, but guess what? There's no way for it to park, so they can do with that the limo later on. But like I said, I will be making a $100 donation to Nan tonight. I would encourage all my fans and viewers, please donate, because we really need you guys here. And this is Barbara Baskets reporting live. Oh. Hi, Barbara Baskets here with Julius Freeman. You're here to support Reverend Al Schultz's book signing. Say hi to my viewers. Hello there, how are you doing? We're here at Hempstead High School with the famous Julius Freeman, Tuskegee Airmen. You're quite a historical person. To have you here to film this event is to have you here um, with this event is quite an honor. Well, actually, I know Al. When Al first started, he came to James Brown's house when I was okay. with James Brown designing a card for James. Uh -huh. And I introduced Al to James Brown, and wow. James Brown became his a father. Isn't that very interesting? And, and any time James was at the Apollo, Al Sharpton and I would be backstage watching it perform. Well, that's quite some history. And we all know Reverend Al Sharpton is an icon, civil rights activist. And here we are in a time and era where they did not allow African Americans to fly. And when they did, you guys were the best. And you formed the Tuskegee Airmen. This is quite a, a, a day here in history of Hempstead, January 29th, and Hempstead High School. Thank you. It's my pleasure and honor to be speaking with you, you on camera. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you see the Congressional Gold Medal? <laughs> this is the Congressional Gold Medal. We witnessed when Mrs. Coretta Scott King passed the torch to the Reverend Al Sharpton, and she did so in a magnificent way at the Grand Hyatt in New York City. And he has not dropped the ball yet. We don't expect him to, isn't that right? 
So we are happy, we're excited, we're delighted to welcome the host of MSNBC's Politics Nation, our fearless leader, the founder, visionary, enthusiast of the National Action Network in the pre precious presence of none other than, y'all can see I'm excited, right? Anytime I'm in the presence of greatness, I get excited. I need you to rest on your feet. Rest on your feet, beloved, and let us give a nice, strong island welcome to the right Reverend Dr. Alfred C. Sharpton. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you very much, and certainly first to give a hand to Minister Soretta McNair. And to all of you that uh, have come out in this cold night, uh, <clears throat> I'm very happy with, first of all, uh, all of my old friends. Old being that we've been friends a long time, not that we're old. <laughs> Uh, it's Emily Moore, Sister Cunningham, and many that have worked with me down through the years, and uh, many of you uh, that have seen the struggles down through the years that we have now embarked on a new level of struggle. You know, a lot of people think the struggle uh, is over because Obama was elected. And we see with his election, it is only a matter of another level of struggle. I remember 1994, I was in South Africa when they had the election to uh, make the ANC the government and, uh, and therefore Nelson Mandela the president. That didn't end the struggle, they're still struggling. And some of us act as though you can just do one or two moves vote once or march once and that everything is going to be all right. It's never been that way in history. And it never uh, is going to be that way that easily here. But if you continue to struggle, you will continue to make progress and achieve power. Uh, I wrote this book because I wanted to give a path to people to understand how you can achieve something in your life and your community. Uh, the Bible talks about the rejected stone becoming the cornerstone. And as I reviewed the uh, Bible and reviewed leadership, it occurred to me that the people that were the most unlikely, the most rejected, the ones that you would dismiss, the ones that you would say is never going to be nothing, the ones that you would say is, is has no potential, they ended up being the ones that changed history. And a lot of us don't do things because we feel we're not qualified or we feel that we don't have the preparation. And some of our best is the ones that are not apparent and not clear. So I write about my life, uh, having been rejected, my father abandoned me, a lot of things that I never talked about. And I talked about the lessons I learned from people like James Brown, like Reverend Jesse Jackson, like Adam Clayton Powell, all the way to Obama. And that is what the book about, is about, to hopefully give people a path and an understanding, as well as, to uh, let you understand that no matter where you are in life has nothing to do about with where you could go if you're determined to do it. You are not responsible for where you start in life. You are not responsible for your parents. You're not responsible for your economic conditions that you're born in. But you are responsible for what you do with what you inherit. That's why rich people that are born rich are ignorant to think they achieved something because they didn't choose that. And people that are born with nothing should have complexes because they didn't choose that. Is what you do with what you have 
that even if you reject it, that'll make you what you can be. So I hope that many of you get the book and enjoy the book. I'm very, I, I want to also say that I'm very proud of our sister, the president of the chapter, and uh, Brother Pope, our vice president, that formed the chapter National Action Network out here. We're going to do a lot of work out here in Nassau County to continue to fight and continue to struggle. Uh, I remember that when I was growing up, you moved to Nassau, you thought you'd move to the suburbs. Now y'all trying to move back and to get away from the suburban hood out here. So we got a lot of work to do just because we are out in Long Island doesn't mean things are fair and progressive. Wherever we are, we got to work and we got to stick together. So I'm committed to supporting the chapter. I'm committed to working with the chapter. And I'm glad to be uh, uh, with you tonight for a few minutes and to sign a few books and to be a part of this kickoff. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's my book. That's my book. Barbara well, Basket, getting ready to go have Reverend Al Shelton sign my book to reject this. So it's very exciting. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you remember me right okay. from there? Yeah. How you doing? Right. You look good. Thank you. Bless it's you, baby. It's a pleasure baby. to see you. Nice Bless you. We're going to keep you moving. We've got to move. He don't have time. He's important, he's famous. We're still on location here at Hempstead High School. We're here with the deputy mayor, Wayling Hobbs, of the Corporate Village of Hempstead. So it's good to see you all here. Can you tell my viewers why you came to the high school tonight? Well, I'm here tonight uh, because tonight is the book signing for Reverend Al Shopton book. And as you see, and, and we, we're so grateful for what uh, Reverend Sharpton has done for, for us as a people. And so we're excited about this book to reject the stone and I encourage you to get it. And so that's why we're out tonight to support Reverend Al Sharpton. Well, thank you very much. And thank you for watching. giving you guys the date and time. Addison, say hi to my viewers. This is my limo guy right here, Addison. Um, AS Limo Service. He always taking celebrity barber baskets everywhere, picking her up. It is January 29th, 2012. I'm sorry. <laughs> January 29th, 2014. Wednesday evening. And it's precisely 8.35 p.m. I'm just leaving Hempstead High School. And listen, Barbara Baskets is really, really tired. Um, I'm going to sign my little pretty limo. And uh, time to go home. So I really hope you enjoyed this show. I know I did. <laughs>